guys this video you are about to watch has a lot of secrets like really wicked secrets about the malians record label and how they turn artists into something you never knew so make sure you pay close attention and listen carefully to what i'm about to discuss so this was brought to the general public by the popular blog just lover and it has a lot of things we never knew about nera mali this information came out because Gislava promised Neramali that he or she was never going to release this information as long as Neramali agrees to leave Mobad alone and mind his business. But unfortunately, Mobad passed and the information is out. This is the story of Irel Luwa Oladimiji Aloba, popularly known as Mobad Imole and the dirty secrets going on in the Malians record label according to Gis Lover. So Gis Lover took to their social media page to write, It's with so much pain I am typing this. The reason is that this boy really fought hard. He tried so hard. He gave death a tough time but death won at last. Mobad was one of the young street boys who rose to stardom from the streets of Ikurudu. You know those days of making a freestyle and boom it goes viral online. Here are some of his throwback videos of his early life one way or the other. You are the most You are the his video freestyle went viral, he got noticed and got signed to a record label named Malian Music, owned by a certain Peckham drug lord named Aziz Fashola aka Neramali. Alongside Imole, Aziz signed other young artists too and its turning was going on smoothly in the record label. This other artist was actually Zinoliski. So Juice Lover continued and said, Little did they know that there is more to just being in the record label and singing songs alone. Since the record label is owned by a drug blood, there are some certain sacrifices you need to do as to stay relevant in the record label. First, you are initiated into the pushing of drug. Second, you will also take an oath of secrecy never to reveal things going on in the label. Their boss who is now ambassador to NDLA trained them all and they were doing so well taking and pushing these drugs. Then it got to the level of secrecy oath and Mobad refused. Zeno and some other artists in the record label did all the necessary oath rights but Mobad refused. So Zinoliski and the other artists, according to Gislova, carried out Neramale's instructions. Only Mobad didn't agree to this. I don't know if people are behaving on me. They have been doing bad things on me. I went mad into it because of this issue. So Gislova continued and said, but Mobad refused. They gave him time to have a rethink. During those time, they sidelined him, the record label boss left him useless in the label. He even gave out one of his street sisters to Zeno, make him the knack that one. That's why you see Zeno dropping hits and Mobad looking like a rag. His life was under the control of the label and he couldn't even option out. Mobad started complaining that he needs promotion too that Neramali can't be promoting Zeno alone and leave him hanging. That is the beginning of their fight. It was from one argument to another. He got words that they go physical most time and Neramali hates to be challenged so bad but Mubad was always the one challenging him in that label. Aside his record label boys, he has other young boys he recruits who helps in carrying out his drug business. One thing led to another, he started restricting Mubad from going out alone if he goes out he sees people trailing him. it was that bad he then confided in some of his friends and they told him to run for his dear life if not it's a lifetime contract or they take his life on hearing that he summoned Neramali that he wants to leave the record label that was the beginning of his nightmare Neramali refused saying he can't just option out like that. This degenerated into serious arguments and Mobad was beaten by Neramali boys. One of his arms even got broken in the process. 
Bella's mother was in the know of all this happening. He was updating Bella how things were going. He managed to stay in the record label for a month. Then one evening, he wrote a letter as advised by friends trying to make it official that he wants to leave the record label. Nehemali tore the letter right in front of him and walked him out. That night, Mobile said he was done and walked out on his boss Nera. Nera, on the other hand, saying that the boy don't mean business, he went out to plan with the NDLEA officials to come raid Mobad so that even when they finally fall out and Mobad try to say all he knows, people will call him a drug addict and not pay attention to his words. Luckily that day when NDLEA raided their house, he went on live and spilled some things but Nera was ready for the damage control. He said it was drug that made him say such things and he had abused drug a lot. He was taken to the hospital after the NDLEA saga even though nothing was wrong with him. Amali, I'm even, I'm Amali, kill me. I beg if I die like this. Oh guys, stop, stop this now. What's wrong with you? I beg, I never said they talk. Don't worry. They shall never go out. Who they ask? Oh yeah, call your police. Which police? Jesus Christ. Shut up. I don't know. Jesus Christ. 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 It's just biting everybody, bro. But he said it's not high. I said Mobad or the high. Go in the car, bro. Normally Mobad not fight. He wants to fight in there. It's only one. It's only him and one person. The continuation of this story by Gist Lover reads: Nera sent his boys in UK to attack Mobad, but again they missed him. Just last week, Sam Larry, sponsored by Nera and his gang, waylaid Mobad and beat him mercilessly, aiming for his life. He managed to escape. And we thought that was it. Now, on what led to his death, we say anybody when Moba tries to make friend with Nera. Few days after he was discharged, his team reached out to me and said he was contemplating suicide. That I should please save them from Nera. That they are small boys trying to fend for themselves. I told them to write another letter and send to Nera. If he tears it or not, this time around it's on him. They wrote the letter and sent me a copy after i got the letter i then wrote a warning post i don't know if anybody remember i did a warning post telling nera to leave mobad alone nera must buy them with money just so they can always give him details about mobad except for zlatan and bella's mother mobad lost a lot of friends to nera bullying so there's this friend that sticked around and was always with mobad on sunday they both went to perform at the general bitters launching in ikorodu the friend with him all through the show after the show one thing led to another and mobad got into an argument with the friend the argument got intense that they exchanged blows not knowing to mobad that the friend got a ring so this lover just said the friend had a ring that was coated with charms in case you don't know this friend i made a separate video concerning how this friend was exposed so make sure you check out that video after watching this one i'll leave the video at the end of this one <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. And for the final continuation of the story by Jis Lover, they said Mobad suffered. They came after him heavily, planned for him countless times, but he escaped a lot of time. Guess this time God just wanted him to have peace. 
they perfected their plans well, waited until their godfather is the president, then strike, according to Gis Lover. What people, please, this must not go unattended to. No, let's all storm NDLEA page first. They must rejoice Nera as their ambassador if they really want a working system. They can't use a drug baron as their ambassador. The police must pick up Sam Larry. Putting off his comments won't save him. It won't. This won't be another DJ Shikin and Abu Ibe. This one, a life was lost. They sniffed life out of him. Oh, my, my people, this now waiting. This lover exposed about Neramali and his gang. Oh my guys and this story actually they very eye opening like this fact when they the story they very shocking I don't really know how to react to this I just wanted to pass this information to you guys to keep that awareness so guys tell me what you think about everything you have just heard in the comment section let's discuss more on this sad story of Mobad Oh my guys, eh, this matter really weak me. I don't even know what to say. I'm just speechless. After waiting, I just read so or more. It is clear that this world now wicked place. Now really, really wicked place. And the Nigerian music industry is another world of its own. Yes, it's another world of its own. So guys, just leave your opinions on what you think about the video. I'll do well to check you guys' comments.